new here. Today we're doing something super fun. I'm going to show you how to make a roasted almond vegan magnum with only four ingredients and then I'm going to taste test that and compare it to the regular vegan store-bought magnum. So stay tuned for that review at the end. First we're going to jump into the recipe and I'll see you on the other side. So first off, we are starting with the ice cream component and all you have to do here is put four frozen bananas with two teaspoons of vanilla extract into a food processor. So I'm using a high speed food processor here and I would recommend that because it does take a bit of effort to blend the bananas up. Um, but if you have a food processor that works perfectly, a blender will just take a lot longer, but you can try it in that. And oh my gosh, this actually tastes so, so good, just like this. Frozen bananas blended up is honestly so good. I have a video I made a few months ago where I show you how to make a chocolate banana ice cream. It is so good, I'll link that up here. I often have this as dessert or a snack now and then because it is so good and it's actually so healthy. So I would recommend giving that a go. But now we're going on to make the Magnum. So you need to buy some kind of ice cream mold. This one I just got from, I think Kmart and it was pretty cheap. I'll put a link down below if I can find that for you. But I have seen some better molds that actually detach and come apart, which I think are a lot easier to get the ice cream out because it is quite difficult to get the ice cream out out of these molds. But anyway, so as you can see here, I tried spooning it in and it just took way too long. So I decided to pipe it in instead. And what you wanna do once you've piped it in is just kind of bang the mold down on the table so it kind of all goes to the bottom. Otherwise you will get air bubbles in your ice creams. So make sure you do that. Then you put all of the little bottoms in and put that into the freezer overnight. So you have to leave it for five hours or more. And I just decided to leave it overnight because I did it in the afternoon that day. Now onto the almonds. So you just wanna get one packet of slivered almonds and roast that in the oven for about five minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And they smell amazing. Make sure to keep an eye on them though because it is very easy to burn almonds. I've done it multiple times. Um, so definitely keep an eye on those. Sometimes depending on your oven, it might take a bit longer or a bit shorter. So yeah, just keep an eye on them. Now onto the chocolate. So I've just got one block of 70% dark chocolate. That is my favorite percentage of dark chocolate because it tastes really dark and rich, but not too bitter. So I would recommend that one if you can get your hands on some. I actually got this chocolate from Aldi and it was a really good find. I really liked it. Anyway, so now once you've taken out your molds, you just want to cover the ice cream in those slivered almonds. It kind of sticks on because the ice cream softens a bit once you take it out of the mold and then you dip it in your dark chocolate like so you could drizzle some on if you want a bit less chocolate but i really like a thick chocolate layer as i mentioned later in the review so i like to put a thick layer of chocolate on them and then just repeat that for all of your ice creams and there you have it some delicious roasted almond magnums. These are seriously so good and I really hope you try out this recipe. Hey guys, so we are back here to do the all important taste test. This is the best part of the video, for me at least. Here is my homemade vegan magnum. I'll show you a little a close up. It actually looks so good. I'm so keen to try it. I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in with this one first because I just really wanna try it. It's really good. I just want that to focus because I want to show you what the inside looks like. So it's just that banana vanilla ice cream that we made. It is a little bit icier than I would have liked. That's just because it's been in the freezer for like a day. I would suggest like leaving this out just for a couple of minutes just to lightly thaw it before you eat it. So it's just a bit less kind of icy. But saying that, the flavor is an A+. I rate this like a, a 9 out of 10 for taste, but like a 10 out of 10 for healthiness. Honestly, it's so yummy and the roasted almonds just take it to the next level. Like, uh, just people who like plain magnums, I don't get you. Like the roasted almond one is just so much better. Anyway. Mmm. I just want to say as well, like the ratio of chocolate to ice cream on this is like, spot on. It's 
nice and chocolatey, but you still get that cool ice cream coming through. It's just so good. I'm gonna put that down so that I have, still have space for the proper magnum, the actual magnum. And just before I try it, I wanna point out how many ingredients this has in it. So I'll put a little screenshot of it up here, but it has water, sugar, cocoa components, which is cocoa butter, cocoa mass, coconut oil, almond, glucose, glucose fructose syrup, which isn't very good for you, pea protein, emulsifiers, stabilizers, flavors, salts, and vegetable oil, and color. So it has a lot of ingredients in there, a lot of processed stuff, which, you know, isn't the best for you, especially the fructose syrup. That is something that I really try to avoid, because actually, back in the day when I was like 10 to 13, 14, I used to have fructose malabsorption, which is just basically I couldn't eat too much fructose, um, and that is actually naturally occurring in fruit. However, this would be a lot more of a concentrated form of it, so this would be something I would have definitely had to avoid. Obviously, like I'm fine now, so I can eat it, but I do want to mention that it is so much healthier to make them yourself because you know exactly what's in them. It's only a few ingredients, but we're going to try it because I want to compare it. So here is a little magnum. Also, you don't have any packaging when you make it yourself, whereas these are all in individually wrapped things. Okay, this does look good though. Close up. You can see all the little things on. I think, I think it's easier. I think like a big difference. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Let me just try it first. <laughs> Look, it is very yummy. <laughs> I definitely prefer the chocolate layer on my homemade ones because it's a slightly darker chocolate, which I prefer. It's a 70% dark chocolate, whereas I feel like this would be like. 30 or 40% dark. It's more like a milk chocolate. Um, and the almonds that I use are like really nice roasted almonds. Whereas I think, I don't know if these are roasted or not, but it doesn't taste as like roasted caramelly as the ones I made. But the ice cream inside this is really yum. It's really, um, it's really creamy and rich. But again, that's because it has so many different ingredients in it, whereas mine literally just has bananas and vanilla extract. So that's why like this one is a lot creamier and my one is a bit icier. But mm, I actually prefer the taste of my one. See, now that it's thawed a little bit, it's actually a lot more creamier on the inside. Mm. I actually, I prefer mine. Honest opinion, I do prefer mine because it tastes, it just tastes a lot, it actually kind of tastes sweeter because I used really, really quite ripe bananas, so it kind of tastes sweeter than this one even though this one has all the sugar in it and it has just like such a nice contrast between the sweet banana filling and like the dark chocolate outside, whereas this is kind of consistently sweet between the in and the outside, if you get what I mean. So this one has more contrast, more depth of flavor. Mm. And also, the chocolate layer in mine, like the ratio of ice cream to chocolate is more to my preferences. I love chocolate. I like chocolate more than ice cream. So my one has like, more chocolate to ice cream ratio, whereas this one has more ice cream to chocolate, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I'm going back to my one. I have the full ingredients just in the description box below. And I do mention that if you wanted this to be creamier and more kind of like this ice cream in texture, I would recommend adding some coconut milk to it. So if you get one of those coconut milk cans that you use for curries and you just scoop out the coconut milk, like the solidified bit on the top, and you add that into the bananas when you're blending it, that will create a more creamy texture to the ice cream. And when it freezes, it will also, it, it like will retain that creaminess and not go icy at all. So I would recommend that, but then obviously that increases it to five ingredients. So if we wanna compare, my ones have approximately 238 calories per serve. So let's just round it up to 240. Whereas these ones have, 248 calories. So it's not really much different in terms of calories. Mine just has slightly less, but it is the inside that is important. 
This one, the Magnum one, has, wow, it has 16 grams of fat per serve and 19 grams of sugar, whereas might have 12.5 grams of fat. And then the sugars, can we see sugars? We can. So mine has 10 grams of sugar, whereas this one has 19 grams of sugar. So this one has almost double as much sugar as the ones I made. And in terms of protein, mine have 4.4 grams of protein, whereas these only have two grams of protein. So you got over double the amount of protein. So you can see from that, that mine is a lot healthier and personally I prefer the flavor. So for this battle of homemade versus store-bought, homemade is the winner. I will let you know in the description box down below what my boyfriend thinks because I'm gonna get him to try it later today and see if he thinks homemade is better than store-bought. And yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'm thinking of doing more videos like this where I do homemade versus store-bought of different kind of food items. So let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this. And please, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. If there's anything that you want to see made, homemade, and if it's better than store-bought, please let me know because I would love to make more videos like this. And yeah, also if you're new here and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a like and also hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and it really supports me. I'm really grateful to everyone that has subscribed and I'm really grateful to be growing a community of like-minded people and I hope we can all support each other and help each other and yeah, I hope you have the best day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!